uh, good morning. Today I'm at the Wat Ban Clan, temple of this uh, Lompong Ngan. Lompong Ngan, uh, many people regarded as this uh, uh, the first so-called uh, god of wealth lah, before Lompong Khun. Uh, temple is uh, very big, but a bit quiet. I think uh, because uh, maybe master is not around anymore. So maybe uh, it becomes a bit quiet now. Let's go and uh, have a look. Okay, so this is uh, how the temple look like. And then for those who are not familiar with Nompong Yen, this is Nompong Yen. The Bucha will have uh, that two part yoke at the side. And then this should be the Ubu sort. Really a uh, very old uh, temple. And this should be the place for praying to Long Hong Yen. I show you all the temple ground uh, overview first. Then we will go into the Hui Han and the Ubu Sot later. Temple is very very big. Uh, usually all these uh, famous and old temple they have markets and uh, food and uh, things like that. But today, I think most of the store are not open. Okay, now we are going into the place uh, to pray. Uh, this is the story of uh, Hong Kong and uh, uh, saying when he was born and when he was uh, being a uh, novice man, uh, which are the temple that he went to. Yeah, after that, he was uh, forced to uh, move to another place, Wat Bang Khan, Thai. Story, you can see the summary of the story. So this is like a museum here. the My favorite is the one in the center. Uh, this style I love, I like most. And then they have the portrait of the uh, Hong Nen, Nen Su San. I think should be uh, considered Hat Yang. Eh? So this is the hall that uh, for us to go pray here, at least on common. And uh, on the far side is the uh, Paputa Ajanto. There are many many people that came uh, to go pray to uh, Long Pong just now. Uh, I am just walking around the temple. 
So basically, uh, Hong Kong is still highly regarded by the Thai to be uh, very uh, effective in uh, granting uh, wealth and uh, goodness. So basically, uh, this whole place is the inside. Oh. And then uh, you notice that there is this uh, counter here uh, for people to go come to for buying land, buying land for uh, expansion. So uh, I would say uh, Hong Kong is still very famous in Thailand. This is the number of people uh, coming here for praying. Okay, uh, now I'm outside the main hall already. So what we can actually do here, uh, there is also a coffin donation available here. And then there's also a counter selling these uh, fish feet. There's also a machine uh, that is uh, uh, dispensing uh, fish feet for feeding to the fish because this is uh, located next to the river. So now I'm walking towards the Ubusot, which is uh, right in front there. Okay, now I'm uh, going into the boat and then we see what do they have over there. I think it's likely to be uh, uh, not open, but we just have a look around since we're already here. There are a lot of uh, I notice uh, about this temple is that it is really really clean. One of the ways to do tambun uh, is also to uh, clean up the so-called temple ground. So I believe that the helper here could be a volunteer and then they are coming here to do uh, uh, tambun uh, for, the, for the temple by uh, cleaning the place. It's uh, not open. Should be very old uh, uh, Ubusot already. But I think they recently refurbished the exterior because I see the cage uh, preventing the birds uh, uh, newly installed. And then uh, they have this uh, bell tower here as well. Bell tower. So uh, that's like about all that what we can see in uh, uh, what man can from Hong Kong it's, it's still a very good place to come to if you are pass by Pichit uh, Nakhon Sawan I think I uh, can consider to come